Sicilian road trip. It is another day on the road. Today we're driving from the city of Taormina, which we are presently in, all the way, almost all the way across the island to the town of Agrigento. I think the drive is about two and a half hours. It always takes us a bit longer, but it's about time to get going. How the public nature We're about 30 minutes into this drive. We still have two hours to go, but we had to stop at this gas station because Mount Etna is so clear. You can see it perfectly and it is fuming at the top. Fuming feels like a strong word. She's very gently steaming. And so we're cool. so much closer now that we're outside of the city of Tarmina and it's just, it's just beautiful. So we pulled off. We're at the the auto grill it's like a gas station with a little restaurant i guess and we parked ourselves right where the novice of the car is pointing at the volcano and just gonna watch the hunger monster got us very early today it's noon which is way too early for an italian lunch but we're gonna do our pb and j situation anyway so Fit. You're fine on this side. Good? You're good. Go straight. Ooh. I don't like it. Yikes. Well, hello, Dove. You're good. <gasps> You're good on this side. Sorry to leave y'all hanging guys. Good morning from Agrigento, Sicily. Today we're gonna explore the old town briefly. We're gonna go down the Via Atenea, which is the main kind of walking street. We're gonna check out some of the main sites here in Old Town, grab a quick lunch before heading to some ancient Greek temples, which is what we're really here for, to explore the Valley of Temples. perfect sitting in the window up there. Oh my gosh, there's not a whole lot happening in the city of Agrigento, let me tell you. People really just come here to see the Valley of the Temples, but if you like cats, they're everywhere and they're so cute. They're so cute. through walking down the main tourist street. It's pretty much the main street you would expect, right? A bunch of shops, bars, cafes, places to get souvenirs, all of that good stuff. What's been most interesting for me has been the architecture. You get these really old buildings that are kind of just abandoned and dilapidated right next to beautiful remodeled buildings. And besides just taking a stroll, taking it all in, looking at the architecture, there's not much to do on the street unless you're really into shopping. When we arrived yesterday, it was a Sunday, like late afternoon, and I have to be honest, y'all, Agrigento felt like a ghost town, almost like in a spooky kind of way. And we were like, what is this place? But just walking around on a Monday, people are out, the sun is out, the city is kind of more lively. It's a lot more appealing, and our first impressions of Agrigento, I think, were quite wrong, and we really enjoyed this stroll. We have one more little stop before lunch. I think we're going to go try and grab some fresh pasta to make for dinner. We had seen a place that sold that and it looked really yummy. So we're going to grab that and then have some lunch ourselves. LOL at the Americans who don't fully know what one kilo of pasta is. This is all ravioli. We got some spinach and ricotta. This place is a good bit out of the way, but we just thought it would be fun, you know, make some dinner later on, but it looks so good. Everything is super fresh, full of locals, obviously, which we always love. And this entire thing, which will feed at least four people, was 10 euro. How oh, sweet, that turned into a bit more of an adventure than we thought as we were walking out and getting some like shots of the outside of the building. The, who I'm assuming is the owner, was like, this is all done in Italian. She only speaks Italian, we only speak English, but we got the, the point. She was like, do you, do you want to see the whole thing? Or like, 
I couldn't tell if she meant the back or like something else. And she pulled out her phone and showed us pictures of what the display case usually looks like. And from what I understood on Sundays, the display case is full of pasta. That's when they make a lot of it, I guess. And I think she just wanted to show her shop, you know, in its best light. So please enjoy these photos of the display case as it usually looks. I think this is going to be delicious. That was so sweet. Anyway, let's continue on. We are just popping in and out all over this video, so I apologize for the here and there, but Welcome to the Valley of the Temples. It is a beautiful evening. We're here just towards the end of the day for that gorgeous golden hour. And it is almost just us here, y'all. Entrance was 12 euro per person, parking was five, and parking is actually very convenient right outside the entrance. And you just walk on up, get your tickets, and come on in. And this is the very first stop. I don't even know what it's called yet because we have barely begun, but isn't it stunning in that evening light? Oof. is by far the shining star of the Valley of the Temples. It's perched atop a hill and you can actually see it from all over the area. We rushed across the whole park so we could catch it before the sun goes down, which is going down right now and it's absolutely freaking spectacular over the ocean. On one side, I have the entire town of Agrigento, the temple behind me, and then on the other, just ocean with the brightest like hot pink sun going down Ooh, just like maybe 20 minutes ago it was casting this insane red orange light onto the temple it just looked like it was glowing so beautiful there's not very many people here obviously it's low season but also it's like the end of the day the temple of concordia is built in the doric style and was built around 440 bc quite old as with all the greek ruins all over Italy, Sicily, and Europe. And much like all the other temples of these kind of styles, it has sort of an outer area that I believe is like for the public and then an inner part of the temple that's usually for the people doing the rituals and stuff. But it's beautiful and incredibly well-preserved. You can tell they kind of reconstructed parts of it, but most of it's quite intact and it is very impressive. This is cool, y'all, right behind the Temple of Concordia. There's this big statue Looks copper. Look at that peach. <laughs> the booty is what she's talking about. Have y'all noticed that all the statues we see around Italy and pretty much anywhere, they have got buns of steel. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, this is actually really cool. This statue just laid right in front of the temple. Oh, wow. Who is it? It says Ico. Ikaro. Is that Icarus then? Probably. Like yeah, he's got wings. It's got to be him. A logistical note that I just remembered. When we parked, there was an attendant in the parking lot offering taxi rides to and fro. And at first I was confused because we parked right next to the entrance. But there's a road that cars can drive on that goes all alongside the Valley of the Temples. And I believe that they can take you all the way to the end because it's not like a terrible walk, but maybe for somebody who didn't want to walk a lot or has limited mobility, that's a long walk. So I believe you can hire a taxi to take you all the way to the end and back if you'd like, so. So fun facts about basically the ancient Greeks. They at one time conquered Sicily and rolled over a lot of the different land here on the island of Sicily in the Mediterranean. I didn't realize this, but basically they have a lot of temples in cities, ancient Greek cities here that are on par with what you find in Greece, like in Athens and elsewhere in Greece. And the temples here are some of the oldest buildings and ruins in all of Sicily. We're just strolling down to the farthest temple right now and the lights came on, it's about 5 p.m. And I thought it was worth mentioning that the park actually doesn't close till seven. Sunset was at 4.50 yep. today, I believe. All the temples are lit, there are big lights everywhere. So I'll be interested to see if they turn those on soon, but the little walking path lights lit up and it reminded me to tell you that. I'm gonna stay here quite late. Rounding 
out our exploration of the Valley of the Temples is the Temple of Juno or Hera, which is actually incorrect. I was reading the placard. There was some kind of misinterpretation of some text at one point and they named it the Temple of Juno thinking that's who it was for, but it's actually not. The placard didn't specify who it's for, but it was built around the same time as the other one. It has 13 columns along each side and I think six in the front and six in the back. It's got three rooms in the middle. This is the easternmost temple. So we've walked from where we parked. We parked on the west side. There's actually two parking lots, one on each side. So do whatever you'd like, whatever's easier. This is the farthest one, kind of the last stop of the day. We thought we'd round out the day with just a few parting thoughts on the town of Agrigento. We loved the Valley of the Temples. Obviously y'all saw, it's gorgeous. I, I kind of recommend sunset. It's, it's a whole different kind of layer to everything and you're not gonna sweat during the day because I would imagine most people come in the summertime and it's going to be hot. The town of Agrigento was kind of a mixed bag. Like we said before, we arrived on a Sunday evening and it felt like a really creepy ghost town. Then we got out and about Monday morning, had some coffee at the cafe and it was all lovely. Then we went for a walk kind of just outside the main square and we're like, oh, this, this town's a little like rough around the edges, which it is. So I guess what I would recommend is stay for a night, come see the Valley of the Temples. It's absolutely beautiful, especially if you're a history buff, if you like Greek history and all that sort of thing or ancient ruins well worth it, it's beautiful. You could potentially even make this a day stop and not even stay in Agrigento if you want to, but we had a good time and we're more than happy to stay here a couple of nights to kind of take things a little bit slower. All in all, a very good day. We'll see y'all in the next one.